today we stand before one of the most haunting and significant places in human history this is Auschwitz Birkenau a name that echoes with pain and remembrance i am here today to take you on a journey through this solemn site we are not here for entertainment or adventure we are here to remember to reflect and to learn from the mistakes of the past in this episode we'll explore the history the stories and the lessons of auschwitz birkenau we'll remember the lives lost the survivors resilience and the importance of ensuring that such horrors are never repeated arbeit macht free is a german phrase that translates to work sets you free this phrase is associated with most nazi war camp concentration camp entrances including the auschwitz this phrase is deeply disturbing as it deceives and manipulates prisoners entering these camps where they would endure unimaginable suffering and death Today Auschwitz and Birkenau are preserved as a museum and memorial Visitors can see the remaining buildings, watchtowers, barbed wire fences, and the ruins of the gas chambers and crematoria, all of which serve as a somber reminder of the atrocities committed during the Holocaust. The Nazis chose Auschwitz for a strategic location transportation infrastructure existing facilities and the potential for expansion all of which allowed them to carry out their genocidal plans with horrifying efficiency prisoners including families from all over the german occupied europe were transported to auschwitz via overcrowded cattle cars the journey itself was dehumanizing often lasting several days without proper food water or sanitation Upon arrival at Auschwitz the prisoners were herded out of the train onto the platform the scenes were chaotic and terrifying then the ss guards along with the ss doctors will conduct the selection process men women children and the elderly were forcibly separated families were torn apart often never to see each other again those who were not selected for labor 
including the children and elderly were marked for immediate death they were directed towards the gas chamber and crematoria they were told they going to take a shower but instead they were led to their death in the gas chambers Block 10 is a haunting symbol of the various medical experiments conducted on humans during the Holocaust. Inmates were subject to sterilization procedures. Prisoners were intentionally infected with diseases like typhus and to study their progression and test potential vaccines. Invasive and often lethal surgeries were performed on inmates without anesthesia to study various medical conditions these experiments flagrantly violated all principles of medical ethics with complete disregard for the well-being and dignity of the subjects Block 11, called by the prisoners as a block of death, was used for executions and torture. Between Block 10 and Block 11 stood the death wall where thousands of prisoners were lined up for execution by the firing squad. After getting off the train at Birkenau this was the exact path thousands and thousands of prisoners would have taken before being led into the gas chamber Thank you.
most commonly used poisonous gas was Zyklon B, a cyanide-based pesticide. The victims inside the gas chamber would typically die within minutes. After the victims were killed, the Sonder commandos removed the bodies and then burned them in the crematoria. It is widely accepted that approximately 1.1 million people, the majority of whom were Jews, were killed at Auschwitz-Birkenau between its establishment in 1940 and its liberation by the Soviet Red Army in January 1945. Learning from Auschwitz and the Holocaust is an ongoing process. It requires vigilance in the face of discrimination, prejudice and intolerance. It necessitates a commitment to protecting human rights, speaking against hatred and actively working to prevent atrocities. The memory of Auschwitz reminds us that the lessons of history must continue to guide our actions and that we must strive to build a more just and a compassionate world. <laughs>